Okay, so today we're going to evaluate how good the documentation is from the Proteome Profiler Human Phospho RTK Array Kit. And I chose it because a couple of months ago I tried to get information about the Phospho Kit and um, yeah, it did not go as well as I planned. I could not figure out which real proteins that were testing so I don't even remember which company it was so I just googled a phospho uh, phosphorylation array kit and this one came up and R&D systems is one of the big companies I've used it before uh, but never before I tried to look at their fairness so we'll see so it's uh, quite well um, reviewed it has a lot of citations um, it says it has 47 different RTK antibodies. Let's see what it really means. Here they have uh, assays for anal analytes representing the protein profiler. Okay, so this is this one. These are the names of the proteins in theory. Um, RB okay until now everything good uh, one of the main problems is sometimes these proteins like the ones that are called very with very small names they have been given that name to a lot of different proteins and you never know which one is really the one that they mean um, let's see how easy it is to find I my experience is these tiny ones are always the ones with the problems Let's take a little one. So, copy, search, Google. Let's copy and see if we find the protein. Um, maybe we find the the protein that is meant. Um, so I'm assuming it's the human. So let's look for human. Also known as Mer RP38. Hmm. Okay, and here we go with the first problem. So this is G. That's the first one. It's a 375, and then there is a th tyrosine protein kinase Mer precursor. Now the question is which one it is is <laughs> that is the reason why we need sorry why we need the annexation number okay I yeah that's the thing they could make a link here uh, okay what else red let's see if we find that one Gathering family proto oncogen. So this one would be the protein of this guy, but it said which isoform? <sighs> yeah, that is the same problem that I found with the other company. They don't say which one it is. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe they have it. Let's look at the mare because that was, we, we already saw it. So let's look maybe here, they will say which accession number is. So it's entre, ah, here they are, okay. So the entry number, entry gene ID, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, and at least with that one we do have, we have to do it, I mean we can find it, we can find the sequence. So. Oh, 
Well, it is the precursor. We just have to spend a lot of time looking for things here. Human Mayor Duo said Eliza. Maybe only by looking at them we can... Yeah, but you see, it will be so easy if they will be more clear about the stuff. The kit could be more helpful if they will put here a link to the protein, for example. Uh, there are two repositories, so if you do not know about repositories, there is the NCBI protein we could let's go here so this is the one you have you can give the ID and then you got the sequence um, the uniprot which is the European version kind of and here you have the mirror human and yeah so here comes one the link uh, the question is is reviewed there are several variants. They don't give the real. <sighs> yeah, they just give the gene, which the gene is not giving you really the variant that they are using. All these are natural variants, and that we have no idea which one they are testing. Um, I mean, I suppose as long as it's not necessary for the function. Let's see. Oh, nice! This continued product, it has been replaced by this one. So let's see. Yeah, B E G F R. Okay. So yeah, for each of them, you will have to look. Question is, what happens with these guys? Because there is no information. Same with all these guys. Uh, this one and this one. And this one. Yeah. Okay, maybe in the products data sheet. reference to which one exactly they are using so unless you buy exactly the same array kit you will not be able to correlate I mean you cannot even correlate it with anything else because if you do a micro array and you are looking for some variants you don't know if those are the same uh, it will be so easy if they will put the protein link here not the gene i mean by eukaryotes it's even more complicated okay so no this thing is not usable not reproducible that way um it's had tons of citations but how good are these if we don't know which one it is That's the one for R&D systems. Proton Profiler Human Phosphor RTK Array Kit. Not my favorite, to be honest. <laughs> 